Uh, this is a quick video um, showing the function and fitting of these which are a paintball bottle adapter which will allow you to add a paintball to your Benjamin Marauder pistol not rifle but pistol <clears throat> how does it work very simple inside your main tube you will have a gauge port this is one here this is what your gauge port adapter will screw into 1 8 BSP it's a parallel pipe thread so imagine that in there with the o-rings on this is what this is screwing into now on, on your standard gun 1 8 uh, BSP your gauge would then screw into the bottom section of that but the gauge would be an NPT, 1 8 NPT, and the difference being uh, BSP is parallel thread, 28 threads per inch. NPT is a tapered thread, and it's 27 threads per inch. This shouldn't affect us uh, for fitting this because we just want the 1 8 NPT side, which is already there. So you don't need to worry about that. Um, so what you need to do is remove your gauge and gauge port all of it so when you look in the bottom if you were to look at the bottom of the tube all you would see is this hole here which this adapter is going to screw into the whole thing's going to screw into there now depending on your gauge port inside it it may be like these are new newish ones that i've purchased it's just bored all the way through so when this comes in it'll go in so far and then there'll come a point where it won't go any further about there but what you're going to do with that is you're going to wrap PTFE tape around it to seal it right standard practice to seal that if your hole doesn't go all the way through you might have a crush disc it might be bored a certain depth and then have a crush disc with an o-ring in it then no problem just the same thing thread this in as far as it'll go down on the crush disc or the o-ring and it'll seal um pretty basic so that's how that's in fits into the tube into the gauge port um now i've not got to obviously put any tape on here or anything because i'm going to take this out so there's no point sealing that now um so let's have a look let's let's reverse strip this down so we can see what's going on what you get is a strap secure the bottle when it's charged with air, obviously everything will be in the tension and it won't go anywhere, but it's just to make sure it doesn't get pulled down or anything when it's in use. Suppose if you get your strap, you get your bottle. Well, you don't get a bottle, sorry, take that back. But you have the bottle. Let's take a look at that. It's a paintball bottle. The thread is 5 eighths. 18 UNF it's a common size um, you generally come across these 5 8, 18 UNF or your under metric larger thread M18 uh, 1.5 I believe it is I have some bottles like that they won't work with this you've got to go for a small bottle this is 13 CI or 0.22 litre bottle rough measurements of it again it's a standard size about 190 you get away with more than that maybe 200 in length or even more as long as it's not going to interfere with anything else you've got um so that's the bottle uh, what else can i say about that not a lot so you just want a 5 8 18 unf paintball bottle about 200 mil long might as well look at the diameter of that because that's important 50.5 mil so 50 50 mil call it so essentially you want a bottle 50 mil ish you know if you're a couple of a couple under it's not a problem but i think it's going to be a standard size i'm going to be approximately 50 mil this style of bottle you take your bottle off now you need to take this out so i'll take the whole thing out first we'll use the spanner 14 mil so we'll do it all and we'll remove it out of there so what we got in here inside here we've got a gauge obviously which you can change 
uh, for whatever you prefer. I've got some with PSI, I've got some with uh, power on. They are threaded 10, 1, M10, 1 thread. So one thread uh, pitch on those. And they go down in there. And when they get down so far, you'll feel them start to bite up. And at that point, you can go half a turn, three quarters of a turn to tighten them up. Because they're seating on an O-ring. And these are just common O-rings, so if you ever need to change the O-rings, that's what they look like. They are three times three, which means three millimeter ID hole with a three mil wall. So if you've got a three mil wall either side and a three mil hole in the middle, the nine mil altogether, the, the overall diameter is nine mil on them. So they're easy to get hold of and put one in the kit as a replacement because you've also got another o ring in here and that is under the adapter here the connector should we call it there's an o-ring in there as well in the bottom of there so the same thing happens here you screw this in here you'll come to a point where nearly when the threads vanished if you were one of the thread is there you'll feel it biting at that point you can stop turning it you can tighten it more than that but this is how it's going to this is how you want it for when you're setting it up so you get it so it's kind of just you feel it biting on that o-ring there that's good we've got a gauge set up we're happy it's tightened down um and we're ready to rock and roll we're ready to fit it the next thing you want to do plenty of ptfe tape around here if you've got a port like the one i showed here that's straight through you want to get plenty on because that's what's going to form your air seal stop the air leak if you've got a crush ring or an o-ring in yours fine you can just go in and tighten down on it so the next thing you want to do i have to do this to the side here is just start threading it into the hole of the gauge port start that going there so we've now got that going in there and coming a bit closer we started to screw this in and we're just going to screw it all the way all the way in until it starts adding some resistance and we're going to use the spanner and we're going to get to the point and this will be dependent on what you've got on there ptfe or whatever and that's starting to get tight at this point now you will probably get another rotation out of that but i'm not going to and now i'll just play on here i want this to be tight so when this is starting to get tight at the bottom I want everything lined up and this is the trick to it so I'm saying now we probably we can use the both of these if I go around again with this not all the way maybe to there I can then bring this round that last bit biting down on that o-ring have a good seal here and I know I'm on my o-ring here that's feeling nice and tight and again if you if you need to play with it what you can do is bite this off a little bit if you wanted to get that tighter and then you can tighten that's as tight as that's going to go comfortably go so i don't want to be there but you just play around with the two of them until you get the balance that you want and they're both pretty nice and snug all right so you're up to there again with this one i say snug the o-ring inside the bottom of you don't want to crush that you don't want to go mad on it just enough just as you know maybe once you start feeling it biting you can probably get a turn out of it so you can play around with that at that point you want to add your bottle so we're going to turn this sideways pull out of it and you're going to put your bottle on and screw it all the way on all right so sure it's tight on the o-ring like that and then you can slot it back in now at this point and this may vary from gun to gun i can't guarantee they're all going to be exactly the same gap between the bottle and the air tube if we were to look at that now I don't know if we can see that there's going to be a little gap here i want and it's going to move a little bit because the all rings on there we want that gap to be even so if i bring it up even i'd say we've probably got about two two mil there now obviously if i put the strap on to strap this up i don't want to flex it up like that. i want to keep that gap even so we've got to pack that little gap out that's in there and i mean 
this is where you're going to have to come up with something yourself because that gap could be two mil, could be three mil, could be 1.5 mil. You know, I don't know. Once it's all set up and tightened up where it wants to be, you're going to have a gap. So you're going to hold the bottle so you've got that gap even, and you can use anything to gauge it. I mean, <laughs> anything that you can slide in there. It could be you know something like you know an Allen key. You might say, well, what's an Allen key? No, that's too big. So I could measure that, get a feeling for it, or you could get a piece of cardboard and just start. Yeah, get it to where you think it's level. Yeah, that's good. Come out and measure that. What do I, what can I put in there to support that? Uh, and then come up with an option. And the best thing, you could use a piece of cardboard. You could wrap a piece of cardboard with some electrical tape. Um, you can get a little rubber, um, what are they called? Like sticky back pads, you know, rubber pads, any kind of pads, something you can stick on there. And even they'd be ideal because if they're a bit bigger, they will allow you to just clamp that to the right position. So at that point, you've got it on and you can put your strap on. You can set that up anywhere you want. The strap, have it set wherever you want. The strap is it and you're good to go. And of course, when you fill this with air, all this is going to stiffen up because there's going to be air pressure in it. So there's less movement on it. Um, what else can I say about this? It's pretty easy to fit. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. Really, it's pretty easy to fit. You're gonna get a lot more air in your gun, obviously. Got that extra air source. It's nice and compact, really, going with that small size of bottle. Um, it's a good thing. So, yeah. 6082 T6 aluminium, anodized black, M10 gauge, M10 threaded gauge going down onto a 3B3 free o ring. 3B3 free o ring in the top with a 1 8 at the bottom, PSP and a 1 8 PSP at the top. Yeah, and that's what you get. So obviously, you've got your adapter, you need to get a bottle. Uh, and then you're good to go, so you get the bottle, sorry, you get the adapter, you get the strap and a couple of orange chucked in as well, I'll chuck you one for the, go into the bottle and one of these freebie frees for that. And you've got your kit, then, you know, enjoy. <laughs> Cheers.